Good evening everyone and uh, welcome to another video. So I've decided that I wanted to build a bit of a scene for my ECW project and I was sorting the bits out and I just thought I'll turn the camera on and as I build this up I'll stop and I'll, I'll do an update through the um, through the course of making it um, and you know, hopefully you guys are, are interested, but basically what I decided was for my English Civil War, and I'm going to do the same for my Napoleonic armies and for my Wars of the Roses armies, that I needed some kind of objective markers or potentially a camp that could be at the back of the battlefield. Now, some systems require you to have it, like to the strongest and impetus, um, but it also makes good, good, good objectives. So I've been sort of, sort of searching through the bits and bobs that I've got, and I think I've come up with something. So what I'm going to do... Um, let me just put these to one side. So I'm going to use these large bases from uh, Big Red Bat. So you've seen these for all of my English Civil War stuff. So these all fit together. And the idea being then I can have one large scene like this, or I can separate them out into separate objectives, or we can have two next to each other like that. And um, they could all go together to form one large one. Um, so I was having a look at what I've got. Now, I've got this cart, which we um, we gave away at, uh, at CrackCon in the in the bags, in the goodie bags. Um, this was donated by War Bases. So I've got this peasant cart. So I thought that would be quite cool um, to use in a camp scene. So I'm going to pop it, say, for example, I don't know, on a base there. Um, I've got quite a few of these resin barrels i got these from march of war um just for projects like this and to create some scenery so what i thought we could do is create like a gunpowder store so i'm not fixing anything down yet this is i always play around with base ideas and things like this first of all so put those on the cart maybe pop a couple there um and then you saw these in the other video, but these are the bloody miniatures, um, and I'm figuring out a way to use these. And these are the ones called the Night Watch. These ones are basically on guard duty, so we can do something with them. Um, so what I was thinking was is potentially putting like some other ones down, like this maybe, and then having a guard, say there, and this one here. Look, so there. Oh, so having a chat on guard duty. Then I remembered I've got these tents from Renedra. So you could put like a tent there, another guard, like so. Um, and then this guard here, he's, he's it's like he's challenging someone. So we could put him sort of like that. And then I've got lots of these gabions from Renedra as well, so I'll put a couple on here and maybe some other bits, maybe some weapons. So that's kind of the rough idea that I've got. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go away, I'm going to undercoat everything, uh, I'm going to spray it. There's a couple of these bases that I can work on straight away, such as the one that the cart is on. Um, so for the carts and the barrels, I'm going to glue those onto the bases after the... Um, all the um, static grass is done whereas these guys on their integral bases these these bases here will have to be done i'll have to paint the models first so um i'll basically go for a whole stage i'll get going and then i'll um i'll come back and update you on the next stage okay so i'm back um it's been about an hour and i've managed to finish a lot of my prep work and um, basically I've sorted out all of the scenery items so the car has now been given a straightforward paint job a bit of weathering that'll be enough because it's gonna have barrels on it and it's gonna be, obviously be on a, a base with static grass um, I found this bit of fence that I was using um, so I painted that up figured that'll look good on one of the bases and uh, you know one of it maybe the one where the guard is um, sort of shouting who goes there. Um, I've painted up two of the gabions and then all of these these barrels. Now these have primarily been done with the contrast paints, um, which are really good for stuff like this because you've got all the wood grain detail. Um, now, what this base here is gonna be for the cart because that's probably gonna be the easiest base to complete. So I've already put on my ground covers for this. So he'll go straight onto there. 
once I've flocked it, which will happen in that will happen next. So that will be on there, and that will be the first base to get completed once the static grass is on there, and I can glue the other barrels down. So that one's going to be the easiest one to do. I can't do the ground covers on the other ones yet until I've painted the men who. You can see I've Xenophore highlighted. So there's this chap here who I think I'm going to put standing outside the tent. That's the uh, who goes there fella. I know I've said it before, but I do love these sculpts. And um, I might as well show you the other two. There's this guy. And then my favourite out of the whole, the whole lot. This guy here who's kind of got the jacket on loosely. And um, I also found some odds and ends which I can scatter around so it looks more like a camp. So we've got these spare Moran and helmets. I think that's actually a lasso from the uh, plastic cowboy set, but it'll just do is just a, a coil of rope, a rest for a musket, and then uh, a couple of carbines. And carbines at this point? A couple of short musket things that I'm going to pop around the camp. Um, so all good so my next task really is to get this base the static grass done on this and these models painted so I'm going to call it a night now for these um, but I'll come back to you probably tomorrow once I've uh, I've finished the uh, paint job on the men anyway I guess I'll uh, I'll be back in a bit okay so we're back and I had an hour this afternoon, um, so I've worked a little bit more on the uh, on the camp and the bases. So start over here. See that I've uh, I've done the complete base now for the wagon with the barrels. Pretty straightforward, but I think that's going to be pretty effective just as a um, part of this scene and as a general objective marker. So one base down. Um, I then I've painted up all of the uh, the models. So. These are the bloody miniatures and these are lovely, lovely models. I know I've already said that in my review video, but they are awesome. So I've taken my time with these. So these are the Night's Watch. Really pleased with how that red's come out. The details on the face. Lovely sculpts. Um, something just a bit, a bit different. Colour wise, I just kind of went for whatever, really. I just kind of went, had a look through the palette. I didn't want either of them, or rather any of them, to look the same. And that way, also, they can be used as parliamentarians or royalists, um, just in case I'm, you know, we need an objective. I was quite pleased with this one, the sort of muted colours. Very nice. Very, very cool. Very, very nice minis. So that's the quick sort of stop update. Next thing to do is to get these stuck onto the bases, organise how they're going, um, and then get them all um, ground covered, basically. And uh, I'll come back to you basically before I add the static grass. Okay, so all of the ground covers are on and it's pretty much dry. And this is the, the setup that I've gone for. Um, so hang on, that is that one is done. So we have the, the two guys who are going to be having a chat next to some barrels of gunpowder. We have a guard saying who goes there, which is sort of entrance that they've, they've sort of cobbled together with uh, two gabions and uh, this broken fence. Tried to chuck some, you know, sort of bits of litter on there as well. And then we've got a guy who's just basically patrolling outside the tent. Now that bit hasn't been stuck down yet. And he's on there. Um, so I'm quite pleased. Uh, well, I say quite pleased, I'm very pleased. And these can obviously be just shuffled around in any way they want, really. Just so that we can, um, I don't know, maybe you want it. There we go, just let it off the camera. Of course I did, why would I not do that? You want something like that? You can have the tent at the front. Lots of things, lots of ways to play around with it. To create a little camp scene, or we can have two separate ones. All well, these will all do as individual scenic bases, or re or reload points, or I don't know, just points of interest to make the battlefield look a bit nicer. Um, so next, I'm now just going to put on all of the uh, static grass and the tufts and everything. Then stick down the other barrels onto here, get that tent stuck down, 
and the equipment put on and I'll come back to you when they're all done. So, here we are. Here are the completed bases. I really enjoyed doing this. Sometimes it's nice to just work on something a little bit different that isn't just, you know, ranks of troops. So creating these kind of vignettes and uh, objective markers is a nice change of pace. So everything more or less came together absolutely fine, I've got to say, really. The, uh, the static grass all went down well. And then as you can see, if we bring this one up here, I've just done my normal process of adding sort of leaf litter mixtures of weeds and flowers just to basically create more of a sort of a moorland undergrowth which is the whole sort of basing theme that I've got for the English Civil War stuff. Um, everything fits together there's no uh, no problems there and um, I'm pl really pleased with how these have gone. So there is our two guards having a chat uh, next to the powder kegs or wine, I guess it could be wine or beer. Um, here are the added uh, weapons um, that I had. Uh, I Basically, I lost the gun rest. I don't know where that went. Um, the cat jumped up on the side. And I haven't found it again. Probably at it. So that's that one there. The, uh, the guard who is challenging someone. So where, um, where the ground would be more sort of walked over, you know, just obviously just tried not to put down as much static grass um, around the tent as well and just keep it a bit patchy just so it looks like it's been a bit more worn i've tried to avoid doing sort of the sloppy mud effect um on this one so it just looks like the uh the camp has been pitched recently so there we go there's the uh, the lasso kind of thing that was um in the set just hanging there and on that side we have another helmet and a gun resting. Maybe his mate's gone off to the, uh, the toilet and uh, he's challenging him on his way back. Uh, the one I've just showed, and there's the, the, uh, the guy patrolling near the tent. I mean, I could try to put some sleeping bags in there, I suppose, but that's probably just a step too far. And this one you've already seen, but there is the completed wagon itself. Um, so there we are, they can be used separately. So that's the sort of configuration I had them in just now, but I say you can go however you however you want. It's just a just a bit of fun, and it creates a nice scene maybe at the back at the uh, at the back of the battlefield. So um, if you've just got want a whole sort of large objective, you could even put them oh god, put them across like this. Yeah, lots of fun. There we go. Right. Well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, something slightly different um, and I just wanted to, rather than just doing a tutorial, I just thought I'd, you know, log it at uh, each of the key stages. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, there will be some more ECW stuff coming, more Wars of the Roses stuff coming. Um, as always, I'll leave some, uh, some photos up at the end. Um, we are approaching 4,000 subs now, which is which is nuts so um if you like the video and you're not a subscriber then maybe think about <laughs> giving it a sub give it a like if you guys liked it and drop a comment down below if you've got any questions or uh, if you've got anything you want to ask and um email addresses down below as well and i will catch you guys all again soon take care of yourselves bye bye